So we're all aware of the furniture drama, um, specifically the sectional slash sofa drama. Um, it's been a week, I still haven't heard that it's shipped yet, uh, but I have crossed my fingers and I'm hoping. The good news is, well, good and bad news. The good, the good and bad news is, is that only Marcy and Patrick are coming and not all four of them, which is a bummer because I like all four of them, <laughs> but it's good because at least if the sofa doesn't arrive, I have seating for everybody, so it's fine. Um, so, because the sectional thing opens up a whole new realm of problems with where to put things like drinks and lamps and whatnot, um, I have a square coffee table that sits between the chair and the sort of sofa, the sofa that I have now um, that holds, you know, coasters and a lamp and um, Remus's inbox so he can sit in the sunshine and the box that holds the remotes and stuff like that. So when the sectional gets here, of course that corner will now be seating. And I really wanted something that was easy for everybody, even the people who are sitting in the middle of the of that of the short side of the love seat of the sectional. Yeah, <laughs> I really wanted something easy for people to just reach out and grab. And sometimes the coffee table is just a little too far, especially if you're snuggled back. So I wanted a super skinny table to go behind um, the short side of the sectional that would back up to the window. So the, the challenge there is making sure that it wasn't too wide. Most sofa occasional tables are pretty wide. They're, you know, 14 to 16 inches. Um, and I needed something in the 10 range, um, which makes it tricky, but fun. So I had seen a saddle bench. Um, it's sort of a, a long skinny rail with with split out legs um, that was so worn it was polished um, that I really liked. It was only like $25, so I decided to go back and get it, and of course it was gone. But I did find this. That is a iron table with an awesome crusty something on the side and a crusty something there. It is rusted and fantastic. It's pretty heavy too. Um, I'm excited about it. So I'm gonna take this metal top off. This metal top is about 12 inches deep and that's just a little too deep for me. Um, it's also too short. But I found this little beauty. <laughs> this is a comb box. It would sit on top of a giant, uh, a giant long dresser, like in the um, 1800s. And the ladies will put their combs in there and their perfumes on top of that. So that's what I'm using. There she is finished. Um, I'm gonna get a couple of brackets to secure this and this piece over here just to keep it from wiggling and just in case Remus jumps on it, he won't tear it over. But oh my goodness, it looks like it belongs. It's perfect, I love it. So when the sofa gets here, it'll go up against this window and have this lamp and the box and the thing and some coasters and stuff right behind the sofa. So I am super pumped. So, uh, good news. Uh, my sofa has shipped. Yay! Uh, it should be here um, on Thursday of next week. Um, so, well, in Georgia at least, but uh, you know, what I'm reading, I can't tell if it means it should be delivered to me by Thursday of next week or be at the distribution center in Georgia to be delivered to me sometime after the, 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 the second. Um, 
Right, so I'm super pumped about it. I feel a whole lot better, and now my mind has shifted to no longer worrying about whether or not it's going to be here in time, but worrying about whether or not the description was accurate, because there were some things that didn't quite match up with the picture, so I'm hoping that the picture wins. Um, so I'm just, I'm just a little nervous about the whole thing, so we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I feel like I've moved into this, this stage of my life where if I don't have something to worry about, I will create something to worry about. So I think that makes me a little old lady. I think it does. It makes me a little old lady. So I have just swept and vacuumed and swiffered and dusted the entire house and I am a little pink and I am um, a lot of breath. Um, but that is a thing that has been done, thank goodness, and that'll make it a whole lot easier to just do a freshen up when um, right before everybody's expected to arrive. So I am feeling supremely relieved about the sofa probably arriving on time and um, potentially working really well in my living room. Um, I feel like I'm coming down with something like a kidney infection or a sick, some kind of horrible sick because it's I've got that taste and drainy thing happening in my throat and I just feel really, really, really tired and um, which I think I say a lot, um, but this is different. This is a different tired. I feel worn down. Um, like I'm all muscle achy and and whatever. So the good news is is that everything is clean for the week and um, if I do get sick, it's fine because most everything is done. I just have to wait around for the sofa to show up. That's really the big goal for next week. Um, so yeah, so that was my week. Encourage each other with sweetness and light and I'll see you next Sunday.